So today, guys, we are going to be rehousing the Tyrannoculus murinus, the red colour form OBT. Hi guys, Ian Tarantula back for another video. So in today's video, we will be rehousing my OBT into its new enclosure. This is the one that I picked up from the BTS, uh, Portsmouth Tarantula's mystery box. So um, yeah, I've moved a few around. I wanted to put it into the glass enclosure that my uh, Syria Pagopus lividus was in. So I rehoused that into just a, a, a rub. So that one is uh, gonna be happy in there for, for the time being. Um, yeah, it's just because obviously the OBTs can be really good webbers and they you know, might uh, look a, a lot better in there than in the rub itself, like I, when I rehouse my um, Monocetrophus Balfouris. So, yeah, so um, I put this video off a little bit because I knew this was coming up. So if you remember, uh, going back a couple of months ago now, I had a photo featured in a magazine, a new online magazine called The Spinneret. Uh, this is uh, a new online magazine from a YouTuber who is Tarantula Heaven. Um, the second issue I wasn't featured in because at the time I didn't have any and this was the Embau Forage themselves. I would have loved to have done a, a spread on that but unfortunately I didn't have any at the time. Um, so the third issue out now is obviously on the OBTs themselves. So I have got a three page feature in this magazine so I'm really excited uh, to have been interviewed for this magazine and um, if you want to take a peek at it it's only a couple of pounds um, there will be a link down in the description so yeah go and uh, go and check that out uh, there's plenty of care tips and advice from several different keepers in the hobby probably a lot more of, a lot of them are a lot more experienced than I am um, yeah so let's get into the uh, video so I'm just gonna play a quick Time lapse of me setting up the enclosure. You know, it's nothing special, um, so I just done it on a quick time lapse. It's only about ten or fifteen seconds, something like that. So yeah, so let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, so we're ready to go now. OBTs are notorious for bolting, so I am taking. All precautions. So, as you can see, it's webbed all along the lid. So, you can see it's made like a funnel in the middle all the way around. So, this is the tricky bit. Obviously, getting the lid open and making sure that you don't. Take the tea with the lid. So here goes nothing. Wow, that's strong. Luckily, it's gone the right way. That was easy guys. I don't know what all the fuss was about. So that's gonna do that enclosure, that guy in that enclosure for probably the rest of its life. So probably one of the easiest rehouses I've done. So there he is guys, just hiding away. So we shall leave him in there for probably about a week or so and then we'll feed him or her sun sex so so guys uh, if you've been following my channel for quite a few months now you would have seen me when I first got my Lassidora Parahabana sling 
uh, when I tried to rehouse it into this enclosure, it ended up running up my arm. Here we go. And it's deciding to run up my arm. Excuse me. Not today, mister. Come on, there you go. There we go. There he is. Well, anyway, uh, these things grow like weeds. And I don't know if you can see in there. It's put on some, some decent size and what I want to do is get it rehoused into this enclosure here. So this is going to be fun because it's really, really fast and I imagine it's going to bolt like lightning, but we'll give it a go. Hopefully, this little guy's going to play ball. Glue this hide. There you go, guys. It's uh, yeah, it's getting a decent size now. I uh, still haven't sexed it. Uh, maybe in a couple of malts, maybe it might be uh, decent enough to to get a decent malt to sex in. But until then, then there you go. There you go, come on down there. No, 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 down. Go on, go under there. There you go. So there we are, guys. Let's see if we can get a close up. There we go guys, so he's probably an inch and a half now, maybe two inches, so he's becoming a juvenile. Um, I can't wait to get it, for a you know, get it to a decent, real decent size. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing if uh, my friend, he's got a, a big female and she is absolutely huge. So I'd love to see this one get to uh, you know even close to that. It'd be amazing. So that's my LP, Salmon Pink Birdie, Salmon Pink Birdie Tush, shall I say? So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, please give a thumbs up and a comment down below. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already uh, just press this little button here and that will automatically subscribe you to my channel so thanks a lot guys uh, for watching and I'll see you in the next video